Hello, dear listeners. My name is Jules. I am a freelance documentary photographer from Brussels. And my work revolves mostly around people, communities and places. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the unknown within the creative process of photography. I hope you enjoy. Firstly, something that's uncertain or that we don't know invites for curiosity, for investigation. And I think generally speaking, a humankind has its way of finding out about stories, about explanations for things we don't know. I think that most people are kind of curious, and that's the first thing I want to talk about. So now that we're talking about curiosity, I want to talk a little bit about looking for shark teeth. A project that I did while I lived in the USA for six months. It's actually a book that I made, and it's about people, places, and things that I've seen during my stay. And the reason why I think that looking for shark teeth has an important layer to add to curiosity is because actually the project didn't really exist until I came back and I looked at the images and I found that they had one thing in common. All of the storylines and all of the people and places and things that I documented were all done out of curiosity. And one of the stories in Looking for Shark Teeth is Hamden, a story about the skater community in a skate park in Hamden in Baltimore. I stumbled upon this skate park purely by accident. This whole story is actually about a place where a community resides and I started spending time in that place and in the end I spent almost all of my time in Baltimore being at the skate park because I was just so interested in the people that went there every day to skate. I met a whole lot of really interesting people and I found a community that is really bound by this thing they have in common, skating, but also they're bound by this one place, the skate park in Hampton. Another story that unfolds within the book is one that came about really spontaneously. I was spending the day in Philadelphia and on this one busy street called South Street, I was just wandering around looking at people and mostly observing until a man collapsed on the street. And that's when a whole bunch of crowds started looking up what happened. It was really interesting to see, actually. This really spontaneous little story came about because of curiosity, my own and also of the people. Then there's also stories about people in the book. People that in some way became really important to me, or were already really important. These people became important because I spent a lot of time with them, and I was really curious about them. I didn't know them on beforehand, but in some way I wanted to get to know them, and I saw them really frequently throughout my stay. I got to know them over the course of six months, and I feel like it was important to spend so much time with them, getting to know them, and building bonds and intimate relationships with them to really form a connection that can be felt throughout the pictures. I let the unknown, or better even, the unfamiliar, become familiar. As you've maybe noticed, I think that looking for shark teeth is a relevant project when we are talking about the unknown, or better even, the curiosity for the unknown, because I think it's very important to spend time getting to know the things that you are interested in, especially when it comes to documentary photography. It's very relevant to spend time observing and getting to know a place, even if something doesn't happen right away, or even for a few days, something doesn't happen the time that you've spent there is still very important. And when you spend enough time, eventually something interesting will happen. Looking for shark teeth kind of resembles the way I photograph. You never know what you're looking for, and you never know what it's gonna look like, whether it's gonna be shiny or sharp or dull, big or small, you just don't know. The only thing that's for certain is that you'll find them, but you don't know when. 
it's like a kind of meditation, just like the way I photograph. You're just looking and spending time, watching, waiting, and observing. And at one point, you find something. And that's what causes you to carry on, to keep on looking for shark teeth, or to keep on looking for things that you're curious about, for the little unknowns that you want to know. Next up, I want to talk about the unknown as an uncertainty. The uncertainty that the current pandemic has brought with it has caused for an alternative way of working for everyone. Personally, I found that I couldn't really produce the work that I usually do because of all the restrictions and the uncertainty. So it invited for new ways of work and new ways of creative thinking. For example, I couldn't access studio space anymore. I didn't have enough space to work with prints to develop a project as I wanted to. So what I did instead was starting to work on smaller scale. I worked in a sketchbook and I treated it as if it was my studio space. So each and every spread represented the walls of a studio. What I mean is, when you're uncertain of something, it stimulates you to find alternative measures. The unknown invites for alterations of the creative process. This last work I made was called Wallflower, and in part it is actually about those limitations that man has imposed upon nature, but nature still being able to transcend those limitations. It's a very romantic kind of work, and totally different from what I usually do, but still it's something that grew out of nothing, out of the unknown. The title of the work also refers to the flower, wallflower, that is known particularly for being able to grow through the cracks of concrete. I want to conclude by saying that personally, I like to get to know people and places and stories that bind them together. And it's the curiosity for things that I do not know yet that invite me to observe and to learn. And photography happens to be the perfect medium for me that allows me to explore and to get to know those things, to become familiar with them. And I always think it's a very nice thought to know that other people that look at your work will make their own stories with the images that you made, with their own truths that they've come up with as an answer for the unknowns found within your images.